How's it going everyone? I just wanted to show you something today. I was out in the desert going for my usual morning walk and check this out. It's got a little bit of color left in it. But look at the top. Yeah. I did a little bit of research, but it's kind of hard to tell. All I know is this can is from the 70s. So I'm just going to say 1975, which is when I was born. This can sat in that spot. See, the colored side was down in the sand a little bit. This was never crunched. Who, who finishes a can and doesn't crunch it? Some people. This one wasn't crunched, and it was just tossed out in the desert, and it sat undisturbed in that spot since 1975, we'll say. So that's <laughs> going on 50 years pretty soon. It's just incredible to me. I had to share. I did look it up on eBay. You can get really nice colored can like this for six, six bucks plus shipping or something. So it's, it's not really worth anything, but just knowing I was just a baby when somebody just, just threw it. It's just crazy. I don't know, maybe it's not that crazy, but it just seems really wild to me. And nobody stepped on it. You know, you'd think if somebody even walked by it, they would just step on it and crunch it. It's getting chilly. It's that time of the year where there's going to be a month where it's going to be, you know, just uh, 60s and maybe touching 70s. It's the coldest time of year is Christmas here, so it won't start warming up again till the probably almost February. Maybe by late January, it might start warming up a little bit, but it's going to be this type of weather for at least a month, which is fine. I don't have my solar panels tilted, so I'm not getting the best solar. I do have to run the generator for a little bit. I mean, I could maybe get by without it, but, eh, you know, winter solstice is upon us, so I've just got all the solar panels laying flat going to the house battery now and i use my generator to charge up the blue eddy right there i have dual chargers so i can pump in about 800 watts into that thing so it charges it up really quick so nobody has to sit there and listen to my generator although i am in a really good spot where i can put my generator out back and i got it hidden kind of down in a hole so even i can barely hear that thing other than that it's just uh, you know i i've gotten to know a few people around here and yeah, eh, you know, everybody's pretty nice, but I'm I'm with a completely different generation. There's hardly anybody my age around here. Although there is a couple families, one person close to me, they're younger than me, and they have like four kids, or three kids. I think they got three boys and one girl, and they're between the ages of five and 12, probably 13, maybe the oldest boy is. They're pretty good neighbors. They're not generator lovers. They're not, you know, they, they have fun and play a little soccer or whatever, but that's cool. It's fine. That doesn't bother me. I'm, I'm having a great time, you guys. It's It gets a little bit boring, but man, where I'm from in Minnesota, they got dumped on. They just got a huge snowstorm. I, I'm sure they got at least 14 inches of snow. And now today is when the wind's going to wrap around and pick up. And I looked at the forecast and their high temperatures are below zero. And yeah, it's not quite that cold here. <laughs> it's pretty nice. So yeah. And then, and then here where I'm at, it's just, there's not, it's not crazy like quartzite. It's pretty laid back. If I need to go soak in the hot springs, the hot springs are right there, which I don't do too much, but you know, it saves on gray water. In here, everybody washes their own clothes, like in a bucket or whatever, the old school way, and hangs them up on lines. And nobody has a problem with that. You just go down to the hot springs and you can get water down there. I use the water in my water tank, too. I don't drink the water, but I do boil my vegetables in that water, and it's just fine. It doesn't seem, I don't. I haven't, I've only been using it in my tank for about a, not quite a month now, so I haven't noticed any uh, high levels of rust or calcium yet, but 
I guess that needs a little more time before I know about that. I'm sure it's loaded with minerals. But the, the second best thing about this place is I got a really good spot where I don't have neighbors just always being able to watch me. I can sit outside my RV and not be in view of anyone. Because I'm kind of hidden back behind some bushes and a tree. And I'm off to one side. So I don't have anybody on one side of me at all. I'm, I'm basically by myself over here. I love it. I really love it. It's not too loud. There are some helicopters that fly over, but yeah, Hot Springs LTVA here in California is pretty nice. It's a little expensive when you got to go into uh, Calexico to get gas and groceries because in California they charge like each 20 ounce bottle is an extra nickel and each two liter bottle is an extra 30 cents they charge, but you can return those and get your money back on them basically, which I don't. I just I just make a trip once in a while to Yuma and load up on everything. When I got to get propane, I go to Yuma and I load up on pop and you know whatever else is cheaper there, gas. But it's not that much. There's a Walmart in Calexico now. They just opened up a new gas station, and regular unleaded is three seventy four a gallon. That's pretty cheap for California. I'm sure up in Palm Springs it's a lot more or whatever. But yeah, another really good thing about this place is where we're at. Like I say, Kip absolutely loves it. In Pilot Knob, there's nothing for Kip. I can let him outside and he just wants to come right back in because it's nothing. There's no trees, there's no birds, there's no... There's a few hummingbirds, but that's it. But I got a bird feeder out here. I got a little bird bath. I attract tons of wildlife. Birds, that is. I got a hummingbird feeder. So Kip can sit outside all day and stalk birds and he just loves it. So I'm so happy. I'm so happy about it. Come February, I'm gonna have to go back to Pilot Knob. So it's gonna be it's gonna be over a month at Pilot Knob. And I'm not looking forward to that at all. Mostly just I mean I don't mind, but it's just the fact that Kip's not gonna have anything to do there. Oh he's He's outside on the table meowing at me. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I think he wants to come in. But I'm going to wrap this video up, you guys. I just want to show you that pop can and get back in touch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Later.